and uh, from the Urdu actually. Faiz Ahmed Faiz is one of the foremost poets in the Indian subcontinent, you know. And the first one is called Indian subcontinent, but he was born in Pakistan actually, you know, poet from Pakistan, the Urdu poet. Is, is inspired by Marxist principles of emancipation and revolution. His poetry exhi exhibits a very strong sense of commitment to, you know, working class people, to the oppressed by and large. The first poem is called Loneliness. Loneliness, like a good old friend, visits my house to pour wine in the evening. Mm. And we sit together, waiting for the moon and for your face to sparkle in every shadow. This is my pseudonym actually, Tito Abu Zihad. I have a nom de plume actually. You have a pseudonym? You know. wow. What is that? What is it? Tito Abu Zihad. Well, how did you pick that? Huh? How did you pick that? Oh, yeah, 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 got it. <laughs> okay. Bought it off the internet. Okay. <laughs> It's kind of a relatively common name in the Arab world, though, is although it? I'm not an Arab. No. <laughs> the stanza, the second poem is called, If they snatch my ink and my pen, I should not complain, for I have dipped my fingers in the blood of my heart. I should not complain, even if they seal my tongue, for every ring of my chain is a tongue ready to speak. Mm. 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 Last night. As the title of the poem. Last night your lost memory visited my heart as spring visits the wilderness quietly as the breeze echoes the silence of our footfalls in the desert as peace slowly, softly descends on one's sickness. I like that one. This poem is called Speak. And this is one of my favorite poems, favorite Foyer's poems, and, 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 and a poem that has been translated, of course, I mean, I've translated this into English, and this English translation has been quite popular in the sense that folks have even cited it on a, on a number of occasions. Speak. Speak, your lips are free. Speak, it is your own tongue. Speak, it is your own body. Speak, your life is still yours. See how in the blacksmith's shop the flame burns wild, the iron glows red, the locks open their jaws and every chain begins to break. Speak, this brief hour is long enough before the death of body and tongue. Speak, cause the truth is not dead yet. Speak, speak, whatever you must speak. Mm -hmm. And this one is called The Interview. Yes, this is my favorite. You talked about yes. this one and you came across this online, right? Yes, yeah. Okay. The yeah. Interview. The wall has grown all black up to the circling roof. Roads are empty, travelers all gone. Once again, my night begins to converse with its loneliness. My visitor, I feel, has come once again. Henna stains one palm blood wets another, one eye poisons, the other cures. None leaves or enters my heart's lodging, loneliness leaves the flower of pain unwatered. Who is there to fill the cup of its own with color? My visitor, I feel, has come once again of her own will. My old friend, her name is death, a friend in need, yet an enemy the murderer and the sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And this one is called the to a political leader. For years, for years those hands ne never finding friends and freedom have remained locked in the hard darkness of the night. As straws arrive and arrive and lash the waves of the sea, as butterflies launch their assaults on a mountain peak and now in the stony, dark recesses of the night, there are so many wounds. Wherever the eye dirts, light weaves, web after web. From the distance comes the beat of the morning's heart. Working people's hands have been your male skin, your wealth, 
your hope. It is those same hands. You do not wish the darkness to sing the song of its victory, yet you wish those hands be cut off and the day throbbing in the eastern ambush and beneath the stiff, dense corpse of the night. And the last one in this series is called At the Place of Execution. We too shall see the end of this hope's long road. The night too will pass. We too shall see our tomorrow. Be quiet, my heart. We too shall see the bright face of tomorrow. Let the drinker's thirst sharpen. We shall see how long they can last without wine. We too shall see how long they will shun the cup and the flask. The street offers a challenge. The street where love hides. We too shall see who will halt for the futile counsel. We too shall see who will return with strength unspent. Today, true men test their spirit and faith. Let them bring a troop of rivals and enemies. We too shall see them. Let them come to the scene of execution. We too shall see the spectacle. However heavy weighs this last hour of the night, friends, it cannot defeat us. We too shall, the see, shall see the flame concealed in this hour. We too shall see the star shine on the crown of the morning. So that's the poem.